Last Thursday, October 5th, 11.30 p.m., 51-year-old Suzanne LaPrize of Plainville was drinking at a local bar. Minutes later, walking into the lobby of the Bristol Police Department and opening fire. A warning, what you're about to see may be disturbing for some viewers. It just brings you right back to what happened less than a year ago. This was how it started. This was how it ended. They did a remarkable job, uh, extremely proud of them. But it's what happened in between that likely saved lives. At the end of the day, they saved her life. Um, and, you know, it's just, that's what police officers do. Drunk and suicidal, 51-year-old Suzanne LaPrize of Plainville walks through the door of the Bristol Police Department lobby with a gun pressed to her head. She approaches the dispatch window. No one was there, banging the gun against it. She then opens fire, her shots deflected by bulletproof glass. Hey, are these windows bulletproof? Yep. Shots fired. Body camera video shows Officer Spencer Boisvert firing back twice. LaPrize takes off her jacket. Get down! Get down on the ground! She sits in a chair and appears to scream. People in our communication center were able to see what was going on and was able to uh, alert the officers through their radio. She then puts down the gun. That's when officers make their move. Faced with deadly resistance, officers showing incredible restraint to deploy a taser. It took a lot of courage for those officers to recognize that and to de-escalate the situation. The entire incident diffused in three minutes, no injuries. Three minutes seems like a lifetime when you're under fire and under attack like that. And it can't be left unsaid, as LaPrize allegedly committed her crime, watching over the lobby and undoubtedly their brothers and sisters in blue, photos of the late Lieutenant Dustin DeMonte and Sergeant Alex Hamsey. I know that they're present. Uh, you feel their presence, so uh, certainly they're watching over us, and we're so thankful for both of them to be watching over us all the time. And, of course, this Thursday will mark one year to the day that Lieutenant DeMonte and Sergeant Hamsey were killed in the line of duty while responding to a domestic dispute, a day that forever changed this police department and this entire community. Reporting in Bristol, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.